Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. When Ramadan comes along, some people act as if a food festival has come to town. We have this type of food and that type and this appetizer and that. And Ramadan is actually a month of fasting. That means that the month is not about eating. The month is actually about feeding. Feeding the needy people, putting in the effort. The Prophet ﷺ said, whoever feeds a fasting person gets the reward of that fasting person with the same reward without taking away from that fasting person. So this Ramadan, don't focus so much on attending all these food festivals. Focus on feeding the needy. What is the definition of fasting? If you ask uh, children, they will tell you fasting is when you don't eat and you don't drink from sunup until sundown. And sometimes a lot of adults use the same definition. That's it. That's all fasting is. Okay. That's it. Just fasting. Sun up, sundown, don't drink, don't eat. What happens then if I'm fasting and then I forget that I'm fasting and I eat? This is actually a true story. One Imam, he was invited to a buffet. And he ate and drank and he had like cake and drinks and you know buffet you know you, you know the rule when you go to a buffet you either break even or you profit so this guy profited alhamdulillah he ate a whole lot he said then when I was totally done then I remembered that I'm fasting so does his fast count or not of course the answer is yes it counts because he completely forgot so that means it's got to be more than eating and drinking so it's got to be something else. Of course, a psalm, fasting means to abstain. So it's not just abstaining from eating and drinking. It's from all kinds of other things. It's from lying. It's from bad words. It's from cursing. It's from backbiting. Many people now, their main concern is what goes into their mouth. These are the people who exaggerate. Once they make wudu, they'll spit like a hundred times to make sure there's no wetness left in their mouth whatsoever. Nothing goes down the throat. Even though in the Sharia, ah, a little bit of wetness is ma'fu, it's pardoned, it's not an issue. But they exaggerate. Some people even tell you, and this is all wrong, but they tell you, don't shower in Ramadan because, you know, water will come in through your ears. I mean, who drinks through their ears anyways? So just exaggerations. Yeah. And don't, go, don't use perfume, uh, don't smell food, don't, you know, if you pass by the kitchen, hold your breath. All these exaggerations, just making sure nothing goes inside. But they don't care what comes outside. So they're lying in the middle of the day in Ramadan, they're backbiting, they're spreading rumors, they're cursing, they're saying all kinds of horrible things. And they think fasting is, nothing goes in here. And as long as that's the case, then I'm fasting. The acts of worship, one of their aims is to improve our manners. And we see this across the board with all kinds of acts of worship. With fasting, it's very clear and very pronounced because the Prophet ﷺ taught us that if you're fasting and someone is fighting with you or cursing you or anything like that, you say out loud, inni sa'imun, inni sa'imun. I am fasting, I am fasting. You say it out loud also so they hear, and maybe they'll be put to shame a little bit and refrain from you know, their animosity or their fighting towards you. So the purpose of fasting also is to improve and have an impact on our mannerisms and our akhlaq. So remember that when you're fasting, it's not about what goes in only, but it's also about what comes out. And what comes out can be far more serious than what goes in, so be sure in this month in Ramadan, you're very, very careful about what you say. You're very, very careful with your tongue. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.